War Gaming Beat Map Bat Rep. Welcome back to Beat Map Bat Rep Season Two, Episode Six. We're in Kador, Round Three. Is there any way for me to come back? We'll see. Butcher rolls a six, so he gets seven focus and decides to use his feet where he gets to collect rage tokens for everybody who dies. Let's see how many guys he can kill before he goes down. Goes after the first guy, gets a nice solid hit, and he kills him. He gets to attack everybody in his 360 degree arc with each attack. Goes after the second guy, and he kills him, but he sacrifices somebody else. And so now he's going with his other attack, his berserk attack. And kills another guy, so that's up to three kills. Then he goes after him again, spends a focus to do the extra attack, and kills him. Then he gets to move an inch if he kills a guy and nobody's within two inches. Moves up but rolls double one, so fails to kill him. Spends a focus to get another attack. Attacks him and hits him and kills him, so we're up to five kills. And then he gets to move up an inch and he's within two inches. And so he attacks with his berserk attack. He casts Ravager on himself, by the way, which gives him berserk. Just in case you're wondering why he's getting all these extra attacks. And then he spends a focus to attack him again. And of course he sacrifices somebody else and becomes the leader. He uses another focus to attack him again and gets a nice solid hit and kills him. And then he gets to move up an inch and there's one more victim. And he rolls and hits him and kills him as well. Nine kills for Mr. Butcher. And then Fenris stands back up and decides to deal both of his attacks to the Fire of Salvation. It's a nice solid hit with the first one and deals seven points of damage or yeah seven points of damage in total and attacks him with a second attack gets a nice hit and a good amount of damage too and perfectly the right amount of damage to disable his cortex uh, but unfortunately does not kill him which i wasn't really expecting to be able to do one berserker charges up and attacks the one guy and hits him and of course takes him out the other berserker runs up all those tokens you see on um, butcher are rage tokens that he gets to hand out afterwards and the second Berserker runs up and does some damage, which the the uh, Bastions get to distribute their damage. They have a special ability that lets them choose how many guys take it, and then they evenly take it. And so I have to do a lot of damage before one of them dies. But this is kind of working out to my benefit because my guy's able to keep hitting, and he does his headbutt attack and actually does a decent amount of damage with that and knocks him down. So uh, the one Berserker was able to deal quite a bit of damage. And now that we're done all that, the Doom Reavers are going to run up because with these Rage Tokens, my guys actually get to do extra moves and extra attacks. And so that's what we're going to be doing. I go up and grab that objective. Then we start to distribute the Rage Tokens. Um, we have three to Fenris, three to each Berserker, and then one to a Doom Reaver. So that's ten in total because the Witcher got nine kills and then we killed one other guy with a Reaper, so that's why we have 10 Rage Tokens. He can't keep any himself, unfortunately, otherwise that would be too powerful. So the Doom Reaver uses his to make a normal move and then a normal attack. They can do that once, and with the other ones they can take extra attacks or boost attack or damage rolls. And he attacks one guy, and of course he's got Weapon Master, so he kills him. And the Berserker goes for the guy lying on the ground. He hits him and uh, deals enough damage to kill him. And then he spends one of the Rage Tokens to move and do a normal attack. He runs up and he hits. And he does a solid hit, a solid amount of damage. So he decides not to distribute the damage and just kill the one guy. The other Berserker moves up and attacks the Fire Salvation Jack. And he hits him and does a bit of damage. Um, actually, quite a bit of damage right there. Um, and then uses another one of his Rage Tokens to hit him again. He hits him. And my Jacks right now have plus two Matt because I killed one or more guys with... Uh, with Karchev, or with, not Karchev, with Butcher. And so they're actually hitting a lot easier, which is working out quite well. Only managed to do a tiny bit of damage there, so Fenris is going to have to see what he can do. He gets a nice solid hit, and a good amount of damage, and that brings him down to only three hit points remaining, so he uses another one of his rage tokens and he hits him again. Barely hits him, but a nice solid amount of damage and kills him. So he uses the last rage token to do a normal move. He doesn't get to do a normal attack because nobody's in range, but he grabs the objective. So, at the end of my turn, I have two points and he only has one. So he needs to go all out and try to take this game back because now his army is really suffering. So his guys are charging into the Berserker uh, to see what kind of damage they can do. So the first guy attacks Fenris, does some damage, and I fail the tough roll, which I guess has to happen eventually. And now he's attacking the Berserker with lots of Weapon Master um, charge attacks and so he does a solid amount of damage there that's like 10 points of damage the second one attacks hits but 
he rolls really poorly and only does, I think, one point of damage. And so that's too bad right there. The next one hits and rolls a nice large amount of damage. And so that kind of makes up for the only one point of damage guy. You can see there he's filling out their left arm and the movement is all disabled. The last guy hits and rolls for damage and does a moderate amount of damage, not killing the Berserker. So the Berserker has one hit point left. So his other solo runs up and then his Bastions charge in to the Berserkers. The one is gonna go after the Berserker with one hit point left. He rolls and misses. So that Berserker stays alive. The other Bastion hits the other Berserker, but they're not gonna be able to do enough damage to take down a Berserker in one turn, although they could damage him quite a bit. And the other one goes for the Doom Reaper instead so that his caster has a, um, an opening to my caster because this is his, really his last chance. So he's gonna fire. He has this uh, spell that on a critical does continuous fire um, and otherwise just does regular damage. So he manages to do about eight points of damage there. The second one um, kills the, the Doom Reaver, but he rolls his tough roll. And the second roll against him criticals, so he's now on fire and brings him down to only five hit points left. So now if Butcher, now that he's on fire, if he he's gonna take a power 12 roll at the beginning of my turn. And so there's a chance that Butcher is gonna burn to death and this game is over. If he does not burn to death, the game is mine because all I have to do is sit on the one objective, I'll have three points and I will win. And uh, there's really no chance. Otherwise, his army is actually starting to come back. But because of the objectives, um, really, it's my game if Butcher does not burn to death. So, will Butcher die? Who is going to get this game? Can you guess? Don't worry, we're going to do it right here. Last chance roll. So we're going to see this roll in just a moment. We're going to start with a Doom Reaver who's on fire. And he rolls, and he does take damage, but he makes his tough roll. And here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, he has to roll 11 or higher. And he rolls a 7. So it only does one point of damage. And that is it. And it's a Kador victory! Well, I hope that you enjoyed that battle report. That was, uh, that was pretty darn it was close. close. It was close. It was very close. Um, I love games where it has that ebb and flow. It really shows what War Machine is all about. Mm -hmm. I thought I was done. I really thought I was done for. I thought you were done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, you know what, I'm done. So Butcher, you just run up and do some damage. And um, that's what he did. Mm -hmm. And uh, that ended up winning me the game. But you're alone. Like the Berserkers helped. Doom Reavers did next to nothing. Yeah, Doom Reavers just kind of fell down a bunch of times. Yes. I hope that you enjoyed this battle report. And remember to subscribe. There's a button above this if you're watching this on Mini Wargaming and, and on YouTube. Uh, there's a subscribe button right there. So make sure you subscribe for more videos and to be notified when we have more videos. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you like it and favorite it. That really helps us because it helps us get more views and more exposure. And so it would be really appreciated if you did that as well. And of course, stay tuned for more War Machine and Warhammer battle reports. This is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.